so their video cut off so this is the bronze response part two okay so Somalis um, they're in a nebulous position in America they may choose to socialize as being black or they may simply identify as Somali some Somalis identify as being Arab and you have those who do not now because of the one drop rule darker skinned people if uh, or even lighter skinned people gets confusing uh, may identify as as black now the question is whether or not she has any Negro ancestry because historically you had to have Negro ancestry to be put into that you know one dropped into the black race however Somalis are supposed to belong to a distinct race of dark skin curly to wavy haired people known as Kushites who are considered African because there are no Cushitic speaking groups who are indigenous to any place other than Africa. That is where their ethnogenesis took place. But this hair texture you see him having is along with uh, these features. Some would say Caucasoid features like, I guess, Negroid skin color with uh, Caucasoid facial profile. And I'm using classical terms with uh, maybe Caucasoid hair. That's uh, what uh, Kushites are known to have. It's not a Kushite, this is a Fulani. The Fulani are supposed to be a mixture between Berber and Black or Negro, Negroid. So the Berber admixture is supposed to explain why some of them have hair like this and the uh, darker skin and broader noses are attributed to Negroid ancestry. Now I've read documents that claim that uh, Fulani were not uh, Negroes or even that they considered themselves white. This guy, he, he has his face painted for a ceremony. But while you had literature claiming that Fulani were not Negroes, there were some Fulani taken uh, into slavery and so, I don't know how many, but some African-Americans have